Howdy y'all, we got Bulldog on the channel. What we're working on today is an 06 Chevy Avalanche. Need to check the yaw rate sensor. That's the sensor that uh, tells the computer how much you're leaning this way and that way so that it can uh, brake appropriately in the ABS and traction control. All that kind of stuff is going to work great together and right now it don't like at all uh, originally he thought it was ice uh, because it was you know jerking back and forth and trying to apply individual brakes and all that kind of stuff and uh, it was bad and then the traction control light came on and then it drove fine I checked it, it had a code in it for the yaw rate sensor circuit and he says, well, that going to cause that? Said, yep. If that sensor's bad or if something wrong with the circuit, as long as it thinks it's good, it's going to screw everything up. And once it knows it's bad, it throws it out and disables the traction control, and it drives fine. So I got to uh, get – it's underneath the seat and the carpet. It doesn't pay very much to do the job, so I hope that it's not very deep. But I got to pull the passenger seat out, which is not hard. But supposedly it's under the carpet too, which can be very hard. We'll see. First, I've got to get rid of some water. Because the ice has plugged up the drain around the building and it's coming in the door instead. Well, it's fine. We'll see you in a bit. Alright, we're pulling the seat in this thing. Before you unplug it, run it all the way forward. And you got a cover right here that you pop off in that area. I started from the back and just kind of peeled up and then popped off. It came off. And it's got a stupid safety clip right there that means nothing except for screw your life over. And then here, down here in this hole, you put your inverted Torx socket in there, pull it off, then you'd use your electric or manual, run the seat all the way back, do the same in the front. Now we're pulling the nuts off the front. It's got nuts in the front, bolts in the back. And for that, I used our Mac Tools chuck and drive sideways tool. Just pull these nuts off because the seat doesn't go all the way back, so we can't get it off. Uh, it would appear that the plug ins are on the back side, so when you're doing it, hopefully, you watch the video all the way and you know that. So pull the front ones off first, then run the seat all the way forward, then you unplug it in the back. And you know, you you know don't miss a step like I did. Alright, I've removed the seat and you have to pull this here and the kick panel up here and this post trim right here. Pop that up, pull the carpet up kind of dome it up. I got my light on there, propping it up. This is the yaw rate sensor right there. We got to unplug it. I'll test the sensor for open or short and see if that is our problem. Nine times out of ten it is this. I don't see any evidence of uh, Chewy working on the wires. Uh, of course, it took me a little while to get to it because I had to get the vacuum out and vacuum the 12 pounds of moist sunflower seed shells that was all over under it. This looked like a clean vehicle, but where they couldn't get to it to vacuum, that it was nasty. Now, I had to unhook the battery because this is the airbag that's in the seat. So my codes are all gone. Freeze frame, all that kind of stuff. That's something you got to do when you're working on these. All right, we're going to get this unplugged and get an ohmmeter. Ohm it out, see what we find. All right, it's been a few days. Uh, followed the GM trouble tree, and there is no test for this yaw rate sensor at all. You only test the vehicle. And if you don't find anything wrong with the vehicle, it's the yaw rate sensor. But my boss got in there, and he actually tested the sensor as best he could. It had no frequency generated out of it until it warmed up a little bit and then it started working. 
So that kind of goes along with what the customer was saying too. Uh, now I've got the new sensor in. Took us a while to get it, but there it sits underneath the carpet. It's unplugged. The procedure for reinitializing everything is leave that sensor unplugged and turn the key on. Ding, ding, ding. I'm supposed to turn the key on for five, six seconds. What that does is, with a, in an absence of signal, everything kind of goes back to zero and uh, there's no learning involved. It forgets everything. I've had the battery unhooked anyway. And you leave it on for five seconds, then five seconds. Then you shut the key off, plug it back in, and you're golden. I'm gonna have to re uh, to unhook the battery anyway, but I'm doing everything they tell me to. I gotta unhook the battery anyway because I gotta plug in the airbag on this seat that you have to have out, and then I'll have to clear codes and all this kind of stuff. It'll have voltage low codes and all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna plug this sensor in and I'm gonna put the seat and everything back in, put all this carpet back down, trim, all the stuff to change the sensor that takes five minutes. So we'll be back in a minute. All right, we got uh, the thing all put back together. I'm gonna see about clearing any codes that might be in it. Just run a full code scan. Well, that's upsetting. Wait, but those, it had to be unplugged. So we're going to clear it. Well, everything cleared. I've run into that before. I would have thought that it would stay cleared with the battery in but yeah, maybe not. see what we find out all right now as good a time as any I did not get an outro shot the other night because uh, you know it was getting late anyway and then I went to shoot an outro here my little light that goes up here was dead so I plugged it in and it got charged up I was going to do that and then the fire phone went off so now it's 4.30 a.m. My daughter went with me. She's in the shower right now, washing the smoke off. And then I'll get in there, wash the smoke off. And, uh, get some shut-eye. But we did, my boss got back from the test drive on the truck. No codes. Everything is good to go. But I wanted to shoot a video. I had looked online and I did not see anybody that had uh, shot anything on the location of an avalanche in particular. It might be in the same spot as a pickup, but I'm not sure. But you really, you gotta, there's no way around it uh, other than pulling a seat. It doesn't take as long as you think. It comes out of there real easy. But there's some technical to it. I thought they were just going to be a, a couple, three wires testing it. What was wrong with this yaw rate sensor was it has an internal temperature sensor. It's not a real temperature sensor. It's got some kind of frequency deal inside of it. Reads the frequency and tells the temperature by that. And it calculates your yaw rate not only with that sensor but it also uses temperature to figure it out a lot of technical stuff it's really smart the smarter it is the more likely it's going to fail so i wanted to make sure i got an outro shot so like comment subscribe 
Hit the bell notification. Share it all around. We'll talk to you later.